Hi, I'm Jim Gordon, and you're watching Market One Minute. Joining us is Brett Richards, CEO and Director of Gold Shore Resources, Inc. Brett, welcome. Hi, Jim. Thanks for having me on. It is great to have you. Okay, Brett, how do you view Gold Shore Resources relative to your peers? Well, just recently on May the 8th, we put out a mineral resource update of 6 million ounces at 1.02 grams. And contained within that is 3.35 million ounces at 1.84 grams per ton. So that would be considered a higher grade as compared to our peers. So we'll be focusing on that as we do our PEA. But when you translate all that into the investment uh, opportunity, we're trading at $7 an ounce today, which is significantly depressed from our peers. Our peers are trading at $30, $35 an ounce, and our high-grade peers are trading at $80, $90, and some over $100. And I would classify our project as being in the higher-grade category. So I think there's a real opportunity here to re-rate Gold Shore, uh, maybe maybe a couple of times to, to calibrate to our peers. And Brett, how difficult is it to raise capital these days and what are you doing to mitigate that? It's extremely difficult given the geopolitical and the macro situation that emerged in February of last year. A lot of investors went risk off and it meant the market uh, performed as it did down 20% last year. But gold and gold equities um, gold equity specifically juniors were off 50 and 60 percent. So raising money at uh, depressed share prices is very difficult, especially in a risk off environment. So we ended up having to raise small amounts of money more frequently in order to kind of mitigate that problem. And how do you think the junior mining sector will get out of the current dynamic of serial raising capital? I think we're seeing it now. Um, the, the majors have started to recover from their lows of September. Um, so you see the majors are, are up over the last kind of eight to 10 months. And I think we're starting to see maybe a little bit of traction in the junior space based on the high quality projects are, are starting to get rewarded. And I believe you know we will get rewarded for the quality of our projects. So I think we're starting to see some valuation uh, increases in some of the key junior mining companies with good projects. And Brett, do you have any company initiatives in the area of ESG? Absolutely. We, uh, we engage with our host community, First Nations, well before we listed in 2021. And we've been working with them for, for several months. And, and we have regular updates with both our two host communities who we have exploration agreements with. So I think, you know, as we move forward, we'll be progressing collaboratively and inclusively with them. Uh, we give priority uh, employment to uh, to our First Nations partners, and we also work with their affiliated contractors. Our environmental baseline work in, in everything we do is with a First Nations affiliated contractor. And finally, what makes Goldshore such an attractive investment? Well, I think today uh, we have seen kind of the bottom of where we are going to trade in a, in a very difficult environment, and there's tremendous upside on on the resource we have and we've just scratched the surface on the size and scale and potential of our land package. So not only do we have tremendous valuation upside, we have tremendous project upside and tremendous you know, potential within our land package on the, the 30 high priority targets we still have to drill. Brett, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Jim. Thanks for having me.